Okay, this is Eugene from the, the Shop Automotive in uh, Real Communities, New Mexico. Um, what I'm working on here, I, I sketched up a little uh, quick draft of uh, what the timing components look like on a, a Cadillac North Star. It's a 2004, 4.6 liter. Okay, so uh, those are the gears. They look like eyeballs peeking out of, uh, I don't know like a Ninja Turtle kind of picture there. But anyways, let's get on. Uh, one of the problems that people run into is uh, Chloe's, uh, Chloe's chains, uh, timing chains, they have uh, numerous uh, marks on there. If you uh, line these marks up wrong with the links on the chains, you will end up bending the intake valve most likely on the right side head, which is this one over here. So what I'm gonna do, okay, so these, these here are the bolts. The bolts on the uh, timing sprockets. Okay, so I'm gonna sketch out a, a, a chain real quick and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is our chain, sorry. This is our chain right here. That's our chain. And uh, they're gonna go around like that, so that's the change. Um, so I believe there's about eight links in between the two marks. Okay, so even if even if the the links weren't marked on the chain, you got like uh, you have um, three dark links on a Chloe's uh, timing chain setup. If you miss uh, match any of these marks and um, and mix anything up, you will have uh, you will bend the intake valves on one or both of the heads. Okay, so here, so they tell you, so see we have the angle of the head here. They tell you the most important part is to get these cams lined up perfect. You gotta get the cams lined up perfect, that's the thing. So you can get a ruler or a, a small uh, square and use it to line up these marks. Remember, it has to be perfect. Don't let nobody tell you this is a simple job, that this is a simple walk in the park because it isn't. I have over 30 years of experience and if you're doing one of these for the first time, uh, it will make you wanna pull your hair out. So, uh, um, I'm going to draw a line here, an imaginary line of what you need to line up. And sorry, that, that link over here is a little bit off, but you get the message, uh, what I'm trying to show. Um, these links, I believe, are eight links apart, the black links. And it's... There's another link that Chloe's have on the bottom that can be real confusing because it almost lines up with uh, some of the sprockets on the bottom. Okay, so they show you with a, a, a 90 degrees angle here. So you can use a square, like I said, or put a square up against here, up against the surface of the head. And same here on this side, use a square, a small square. Okay, and uh, they show that as being uh, a ninety to a ninety degrees angle from here to here. So those are the most important things that you want to line up on the top. So when you set that chain on both sides, it needs to be the same similar thing on both sides. Okay. You, like I said, you can use a square and get it perfect. See, as you notice, it's down the center of the bolt. That is very critical. So that'll be your, your black links on the cloist chain there. Very, very critical. And then, okay, there goes our chain here. I'm sorry. Sorry for the quick, messy drying. Okay. Um... I do believe they're like uh, eight links apart. I will uh, verify it once I walk into the shop. Okay, so there we have the heads. 
Okay, this chain's gonna come down through the bottom on each side of the head. And I'm gonna make these uh, come together. So it's gonna come like that. We're gonna try to get this three-dimensional drawing. So that's the that's the chain running through. Okay. And they both hook up on the gear on the bottom. Okay. So in between up here, we got a circular gear, like a counter shaft balance gear, I believe. Sorry drawing and trying to hold the camera the counter shaft balance gear and it has a, a timing mark right here on the bottom that's a timing mark right on the bottom of the gear that you need to line that up so you set that gear on and here goes the the main crank gear down here Okay, I'm gonna, that's the main crank gear. And I'll pause that. 